Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over the Functional Broom mod, okay? So this is actually a very um, old version of a mod. I think people have been using this for quite some time. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. If you download this mod and you're, you encounter issues, she does say at the bottom of this description to contact her through her Discord and she can help you guys, okay? Also, it says to uninstall. It is recommended that you remove the broom from your save first, then simply delete the package and TS4 script from your folder. And as always, clear your local thumbcast. See, this is something I tell a lot of you guys every single video. And everybody's like, why? And I'm like, this is why. Okay. So anyway, to get into this, obviously, it's just bringing more realism in the game. That's basically why we're downloading it. And who doesn't want a functional broom? I mean, come on. Um, also, I want to let you guys know about the Everything Mods course. You do have a chance every single month to win a free pack from me. And all you got to do is just be part of the Mods course. I literally help with any questions you have related to mods. We can even hop on Zoom, whatever you need. I am there to help. So check it out when you get the chance. The link is in the description below. All right, let's get straight to it, guys. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. And then you will then click the zip. I will have this link into the description, so do not worry. And if you are having any issues, as she has said before, please click on her Discord link and add her Discord. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the functional broom zip. And we're going to save. So the history override is optional. It is not something that is required, but I'm going to get it anyway, because why not? You know what I'm saying? So if you don't know why it's optional, then please go back to the description and read through as I said before. Okay. Once you download everything, they will be at the bottom of the screen. And what you want to do is select the file explorer icon at the bottom. If you have windows, if you have a MacBook, it's going to be finder for you. And so that's what you would click. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and select the file explorer. And then we are going to go ahead and open the documents folder. Once you do that, double click on the EA folder. If you cannot see the EA folder or documents folder, that probably means that you have not loaded up the game and you're brand new. So please go load up the game, have some fun, exit the game, and then let your computer register that you have an EA folder. Once you do that, select the Sims 4 folder. And then if you're here, you can just scroll to the bottom, delete the local thumb cache. If you don't see it, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Go back to your mods folder. And once you're here, put this in a comfortable place. Once you do that, go to the bottom again. You can right click and then select File Explorer or Finder, depending on the computer. Once you do that, I want you to select the downloads folder. Now, this is a good place to put this because you don't really want them to be put inside of another folder. So just bear with me. Once you get everything in a position that you like, you want to right click the functional broom and extract it. For people who are using Macs, please just double click it in a blue folder will open. If it is not working, that probably means that you have an extractor file on your computer. It could be called WinZip or something else. Please delete that and also clear out your storage. That is going to help you extract this file. Once you do that, you will see there's a TS4 script and a package. You need both of these for this mod to work. Yes, it is required. Okay. So in order for you to have both of those, you literally just get that folder and drag it into your mods folder. But before we do that, I'm going to also open up the history override folder. So you right click it and you select extract. If you have Mac, you double click. Once you do that, you'll see it has a page and an optional override simmers. So what we're going to do is get both of these folders and plop them into the mods folder. So I'm going to do the first one, which is required. There you go. You see it's inside. We'll double click to check. TS4 script and packages in there. Everything checks out. Then you come back over here and you get the history override. And you're going to drop this in here too. Okay. So to do that, all you got to do is click the folder that was open and put it in here. Be careful to not put in the zip file. I've done that before. And let's just say it's not fun. Okay. Your game's not going to work. You're going to be wondering what you did wrong. And it's really simply because you just downloaded a zip and drug it into the mods folder. You cannot do that. All right. Once you're done, make sure you go to your game option settings, enable your script for mods, enable your custom content. So that way these mods work. If you do not know how to do that, I do have a video on my channel on how to enable your game option settings for mods. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to get that everything mods course. Trust me, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm sending you lots of love and light.